Hello and welcome everyone to Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. I lobbied for CB Boobed, but apparently that was inappropriate. <laughs> Wildly inappropriate. Wildly inappropriate. I'm kind of shocked you actually said it, although we are where we are, and it is a great start to today's episode because we are in the season three finale for the Silver Tempest uh, box set. It has been very exciting. It has been. Uh, up till this date, we've actually pulled the rarest card in the set Twice. Two times! Uh, which is an absolutely unbelievable pull rate. That just does not happen. I don't know how else to explain it to you, but it was an incredibly remarkable thing. I cannot wait to see what our final box has in store for us today. Are you ready? I'm ready! Let's play the rules! As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the Wheel of Energy! Man, people have been clamoring for eyeball energy all year. Can we land it on the finale? I believe so. Let's see! Daddy, watch this. Watch this. Call your shot. Here it is! Oh, so close! It's a raucous pummeling energy instead! Always another fan favorite as well. I'm kind of displeased. Right. We can I do really, it again if you want. I, I really <laughs> wanted it. I really wanted it. <clears throat> we'll spin again for fun. Okay. Oh, it won. It landed. It didn't do it. It did. It went back. It's on the eyeball energy. <laughs> We can't, we can't use that. No, we can't use no, that. We can't, we can't use, use that. Use that. No. Okay. You know what? There's not really a fighting type Eevee, so Ben spared the skateboard switch today. Thank goodness. My wow. least favorite part of the show out of the whole thing. And which I sometimes, I, to be honest, I'm just kind of great. You know? What a boob, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm so thrown off. <laughs> Uh, the history of Super Carl and Brothers videos. I don't think you've ever said the word boob on camera before. Man, it was okay on Drake and Josh. Those dumb boobs. Nailed it. Set box to fun. But it's the finale. Anything goes, you know? Anything goes. Anything Do you, goes. What, what are the odds, truly? Like, like I, I know we were looking through our data sheet here, and I believe, okay, so our, our third place person right now, we have Brooke in first place with 239 points. Yeah. Jess in second place with 231 points. Those are our Lugia V alt arts. Right. It's the same card that got them 230 of those points each, respectively. So yes. like huge swaths. So Jay and I were trying to figure out with Ben C, who has 81 points, whether or not it's even possible to get there. I mean, of course, Ben could always, always pull the alt art Lugia V himself. Right. But barring that, because the odds feel low, we were like, is there any other way? Could he pull the type advantage and multiply something into it? The answer is very unlikely. Basically, he would need to pull the highest value trainer gallery card, which I think is the Rayquaza VMAX. Yes, yeah, so the Rayquaza VMAX comes in at $43.18. Right, and then on top of that, also pull like the second most valuable card, which is... The Serena Full Art. The Serena Full Art, which you could conceivably get in one box, but even if you did that, you'd also need the multiplier with the Rock's Pumbling Energy. So it's a tall ask for anyone to take over the lead at this point, but we do know exactly what we're looking for for the quality eighth place at this point and for Big Steve at this point because quality eighth place is presently Omega who is tied with Afropunk at 22 points. And then for the Big Steve award, we have got uh, eight points even. So we actually have 
five people tied at nine points right now. So that's definitely coming down to dollars and cents. Dollars and cents, absolutely. Yes. yes. Because Big Steve is done. So lots of fun stuff on the docket for today. I am so stoked to see how this goes down. Uh, I definitely think it's going to be a journey. So without any further ado, let's open some packs. First contestant of the day is Beck Squad coming in with six points. So really looking for just like a three point pack, you'd three, imagine. Three point pack would probably be the best way to get you in contention. And you know what? The Beck Squad's looking pretty good because he has pulled only three point packs all season. So let's see if they can go. Oh, we got the triangle energy right there for Beck Squad. Palo Sand scores, because that's a raucous pummeling type. The Fampy, Fampy scores. scores. The chime, actually, we didn't go over the randomly chosen common chase cards for today. They are Pet Lil, Meowstic, and Chimeco. So the Chimeco scores as well. Oh, oh, and right out of the gate, first pack front row is the Rainbow Furisode Girl. So wow. right away, pretty good pack for Beck Squad here. Let's see how the uh, Furisode Girl ranks up. It's not a super competitive card, but it is rainbow rare. It is worth $6.32, so seven points. Seven, eight, nine, ten point pack right out of the gate. We are coming out strong. That is going to land Beck Squad with 16 points on the season. Let's yeah, let's go ahead and get a sleeve for that card. Tuck that in real quick. Here we are. Here we are. Bam. All right, what does 16 points land us, though? 16 points, question. though, let's see, let's see. Does it affect uh, anything? Not I too much. I don't think so, yeah. Weirdly. Looks like that's going to put you right in the category of, like, 13th, 14th place, tied with Brylev and Enselman. So anyone who lands at above 22 points, though, will have an impact, because they will bump down the quality 8th place person. Right, yes. Yeah. So that's yeah. we're, we're very curious to see if anybody can, uh, can, can land their finishing move above 22 points overall. You can still play spoiler, even if you can't win. And maybe that person will be Dom, who's coming into the day with 10 points. Dom! Do you think it's um, Dominic Toretto? Do or Dom Perignon. Oh. So either... Uh, you really fancy champagne guy? Or... I was trying to do the thing where it's like a guy who drives a car really fast. <coughs> um, however, yeah, no. So yeah, one of, one of those two. Isn't it Don Perignon? Don Perignon? Dom? Dom? I think it's Dom. Oh. I thought it was Dom. Now I feel Dom. <laughs> Nailed it. All right, let's see here. With the flip. Oh, eyeball energy, which doesn't wow, do anything. Wow, doesn't for do us. anything, of course. Uh, okay, unfortunately, <coughs> the Slurplup, the Haunch Crow, the Raichu, the Noibat, the Snorunt, the Sandile, the Fennekin, the Murkrow. I'm doing great. Uh, and finally, the, the Zero Aura. Aura. So only a single point pack for Dom. Gonna land him at 11 points on the season. That's a pretty solid uh, finish. No matter how you slice it. Next up, we have Shadow Loop. Shadow Loop. Shadow Loop. Coming in with five points uh, right now. Is a loop one of those things that you use to examine like precious gems and such? Is it like a little monocle thing? Mm -hmm. Guys, we finally remember to turn the overhead camera on, so now you can see what we're doing over here. And it's a good thing too because Loop Shadow Loop pulls the V Star marker, so our first minus one on the day. Can they do? Any, but I did. I did this so backwards. I am so on point for the finale. Oh They've got my the, gosh! These are their two rare cards right there. So that we know at least that's going to be uh, some scoring points right there. We're going to go off the top here. We are all over it all of a sudden. Are there any other scoring cards we need to consider? There are not, but we do have the Trainer Gallery Jinx. All right, let's take a look. I do think this is the third time maybe we've pulled this Jinx. Yeah, this is one of the more common Trainer Gallery cards, to be sure. It is, and it comes in at 82 cents, so it is just worth a single point. So, so just a one point pack overall. Just a overall. one point pack lands Shadow Loop at six points on the season. Goodness me. There we go. Let's see if we can finally get ourselves in order here. Let's Successfully see. get through an entire opening without any other errors. Yes, let's see. Maybe Ayesh will be the one to uh, set us straight. They're coming in with four points and is doing a podcast. I don't know what it's called. It just says they're doing one. They're just doing one. So, so, so just, just search and maybe you'll find it. Maybe you'll find it. Maybe search miss, all the podcasts. All the podcasts. And I'm sure you can find Ayesh's. All right, let's see here. We do a podcast ourselves. We do do a podcast. It's called Popcorn Culture. Right over there across right the room. Right over there. Same room. 
All right, let's, let's see, see here. Kaboom! Oh, the triangle energy. Triangle energy, wow. big energy. V-Guard energy, the Hypno, the Honchkrow, the Venonat, the Ralts, the Spinda, the Ndidi, oh, the Baltoy Baltoy will score, the Crobat uh, will score. Will score, yep. And the oh, Keldeo. the Keldeo, wow. Just one of my least favorite Pokemon and cards ever right there. Seven points on the season. Uh, does have Ayesh, though, and you get this awesome Keldeo card. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like you really had to like, like pull it from your heart there. You're gonna love frame it. <laughs> Next up we have Marcos. Now Marcos is a, a mid-season joiner, so they were in contention for rookie of the rookie of the day okay. last time, but they got two points. So, so probably did not win that that no. uh, coveted Olive yeah. Garden gift card. Probably didn't. We'll see if there's any rookies in today's field. I don't even know until they show up on the cards. Uh, but really good thing about Marcos is they got really into Name of the Wind because of Super Carlin Brothers. So mission accomplished. Love me some Name of the Wind. <laughs> Teardrop energy for Marcos to start off. Let's see the Stone Turner will score. Will, oh, the, the Petal pet scores. The, I do see something sneaking out back do there. Do you? Then. Okay, yeah. okay. Oh, the Ar Archeop scores and, and oh, oh, a full Art Hisuian Arcanine. I don't think I've even seen this card. Wow, that is really <clears throat> pretty. I do really like the pink background right there and Arcanine's always just a crowd uh, favorite no matter what. So let's see, four scoring cards, minimum of four points, but prop, oh, actually no, the Arcanine's fighting, so minimum of five points. All right, let's see, number 179, you get to the right <coughs> page here, is going to be $4.48 for the Arcanine, which so will round like, up to five point so five, six. six, seven, eight, nine point pack! Not for bad. Marcos bringing them up to 11 on the season? If only it had been last week, you know, or, the, or last month rather, they yeah. would have been in such a strong position for uh, Rookie of the Day. For Rookie of the Day, if only, if only. But, you know, sometimes you just, the day, the day changes and so does the, the rookie competition. Next up is Lauren B. Coming in, now Lauren's had an interesting season. Started with this nice zero, then came in the second round with an eight. Uh, so now we're looking at uh, how they're going to finish here. They weren't maybe like a one-point pack, though. That puts them in contention for the... Uh, for the Big Steve the Big Award. Steve yeah, Award. And yeah. since they put up a zero earlier, you know they have it in them, right? You'd think. Boom! Oh, Dark Tear Drop. Although, I'll tell you what, I saw a card sneak out of the back there. The Meowstic scores. That's one of our chase cards for the day. Candice Litton. Pet Petal scores. scores. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Turning into a kind of a good pack. Ponytail, the Araquanid. Does not... But... Omastar V will score, that's for sure. I think it looks like bulk V, so probably just a single point there, but we'll double check. We'll double check, always gotta be safe. Wanna be sure nobody's missing out on points, and it is in fact a one point. Ah, oh, well With that's a bummer. 69 cents on the Omastar. Man, brings them up to 11 points. Uh, on the season, so the, the not shaking up the scoreboard too much there, but you do get the awesome Omastar, which is my favorite fossil Pokemon. Is that a fact? Oh yeah. I wouldn't have known that. Oh yeah, back Gen 1, man, Gen 1. I, I chose the Helix Fossil and that was it, you know? That was it. No, uh, no all my Kabutops. friends were all the, yeah, everyone else is like, Kabutop's so cool. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, right. Omastar, dude. Are you kidding me? He's like a snail. He's like a, he's, he's like a mollusk. Yeah, Kabutops is like a cool scissor handed dude. Yeah, dude, that's what Scyther is, okay? All right, so Scyther's you, already better. Wow, okay, so your concern <clears> is that Kabutops is like stepping in a little bit on, on it the old, old Scyther. I do have a theory that Scyther, that Kabutops is like, because it's a fossil Pokemon, that over time it evolved into Scyther. Wow. Yes, because it even lines up a little bit better because. Um, there's a theory that Genesect, which is like an armored Pokemon, it looks a lot like a Kabutops with armor on it. Okay. And if you evolve Scyther, it turns into Scizor, which is Scyther okay. with armor, armor on, on it. it. So okay. it looks like it has the same mechanic in place. So I think all four of those Pokemon are actually all connected. So I do like Kabutops as well. Probably my second favorite fossil Pokemon, but yeah, it's hard to beat Omastar. Praise Lord Helix, am I right? Okay, next up we have Laser. I think I opened two in a row, so I think you're up. All right, all right, I'll do it, I'll do it. Give me something to do over here. Yeah. Now, uh, Laser's favorite animated Disney movie is Hercules, and their favorite Pokemon is Lucario. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's see what we got for Laser. Boom. Why don't you have a laser, Woody? <laughs> it's not a laser. All right, Teardrop Energy, Braxen, Morpeko, Capturing Aroma, Ponyta, Venonat, Dewpiter, Spinda, Phoebus, 
A lot of fire in this one. Growlithe and Arbor. Wow. Oh, well, look at that. So much, man. If only it had been a fireball energy today, you'd have gotten an extra four points, five points. But uh, it's not. So instead, it's going to be one uh, point. One point instead. It's gonna be, actually, that's exactly what Laser wanted, though, because now they've got nine points, Ben. Just out of curiosity, let's just check <clears throat> that Arcanine just to see how valueless it truly is. Because that will be important, because there's going to be quite a dollars and cents battle for... Yes, when it comes to tiebreakers, the way that it works is that all of the other rules get thrown out the window completely. We are only going off of your rare cards. So yes. trainer gallery and rare cards. Yep. Uh, and those will basically be contributing to your total cost. And when it comes to determining who is most directly immediately above Big Steve, it will be the lowest person with nine points. That's exactly right. So yeah. it's sort of a weird thing. You want the lowest value cards but still getting you nine points. So 11 cents on the Arcanine. 11 cents on the Arcanine, that feels good. It feels good. Think. For laser, uh, they're only getting, you know, 11 cents tacked onto that competition. Next up is Afropunk, who I wanna say is in the top 10, is that yeah. right? So I think Afropunk is currently tied for that quality eighth place spot with oh, Omega, who was okay. our season two champion, I believe. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, so big contention here for Afropunk. Actually, this is kind of interesting though, because it, it technically will probably push them out, out of. of. This is this is actually, Omega wants this to be, as long as it's not a zero point pack, Omega is happy because then, then they stand alone at eighth place. Eighth place, okay, yeah, you're right, you're yeah. right, you're right, okay. Okay, so let's see if Afropunk can keep themselves in contention with a zero point pack. So far, Salad Energy, so no multiplier at all. Bloodshinder, Clang. So uh, obviously it's not a zero point pack though because there wasn't energy. So. Right, yep. So they will score one point. The That's ball exactly, toy oh, the ball toy, ball toy scores. Mischievous and Ariado. So it's gonna be a two point pack knocking Afropunk. Now what's interesting, it knocks them out of eighth place right now, but uh, it lands them total at what, 24? 24. 24. 24. So in a, in a solid seventh place, which is technically where we have them listed at the moment anyway, but right. tied with eighth place. So, right. So um, if anyone else gets above 24, that's what Afropunk is rooting for now. But okay. just one person. Just one person will, <coughs> will safely drop them down into then the quality eighth place position. Yes, okay, so, so Afropunk's still alive in the, in the chase for eighth place. All right, next up we have Jupiter Fox coming into the day with 10 points. Let's see, they are a professional face painter. Okay, yeah, I think, it's you. I think okay. you're up. Okay. Think. <clears throat> we need like a token we slide back and forth. I know, a professional right? face painter, huh? Yeah. Uh, you know, honestly, this is one of those things, we just went to Disney recently, and while I was there, I saw the face painting, and I've seen it there in the past, and I was like, oh man, I would never do that. And then this year, I feel like having kids at Disney, I was like, I might do that. I do face always face. see that face painting, and the face painting is like, it looks like the same face painting you get like at the mall or something. Like it's not themed it's true, to Disney it's true. at all. And I was like, this feels a little out of place. I Dark Shadow, no raucous pummeling yet. So the full art Serena yeah. is that is that card that's worth $53. So obviously so, this is just a regular one, but yeah. there is one out there that is quite valuable. Regenerative Energy, Duosion, the Whalmer, the Dreepy, the Metatite, the Dewpiter, the Ponyta. The LGM, I can never say this one. LGM. Yeah, I think you got it right. That's okay. the first time. Ready? And, and the clink, clink clang. So just a single point. Gonna bring them to 11 on the season. Thanks for playing Jupiter Fox. Better look next season where you get that single pack for Crown Zenith. Gonna be a good one. Next up we have John Borg. John Borg. John Borg City. Or is that like to call him Bon Jorg? Bon Jorg. Bon Jorgi. Ah. Bon Jorg. <laughs> Bonjour. Sounds like a greeting, doesn't it? It's because it does a little bit. Doing. Yeah. Or like a French corgi. Yeah. A bonjour. -y. We have Harry Potter Scar Energy. Clank, Crocroth, and Earth will score. Another fossil Pokemon. Esper, Smeargle, the Ball Toy scores, and the Noivern scores. Looks like a three point pack for John Borg. And actually, because they were sitting at six, Ben, actually, let's look up the Noivern because this is another nine point finish. Okay, let's see here. So, number 133 on the set. The Big Steve Award is becoming so competitive. Let's see here. Eight cents. Eight cents. I'm just gonna put 08. So that feels better than the Arcanine, but of course we have no way of knowing what their other uh, values were. So <clears throat> we'll have, we're gonna have to tabulate all of that after. We have to go back to the other episodes, see what their cards were. It is it is always incredibly interesting though too, because you could just pull a rare card that's worth like seven dollars <clears throat> and forty eight cents, and that yeah. ends up being worth 
eight points yeah. overall in one fell swoop. Or it could have been the case that you had like a bunch of the randomly chosen common chase exactly. cards. Exactly, which is kind of what you want in this situation. Right, because, because you then want, you like, got, yeah, like four cards where you got all the same number of points, but with way less dollar value. Exactly. Yeah, so weird situation to be in for sure. Uh, next up we have Doe, who doesn't Do. know anything about Pokemon. Well, maybe you're learning through the yeah. process hopefully, of osmosis. Hopefully, Doe also plays um, video uh, Rocket League with us once a month here on Super Carlin Gaming. It is a hooting and hollering good time. Well, I think we say it channel. every time. Yeah, but if you're interested in playing games with us, you know, head over to Patreon. Oh, oh. Ben! Doe hits the raucous pummeling! How about that? Wow, How about so this? This is, you know, maybe Doe is the one who is gonna get the, um, you know, the Rayquaza Serena pack. Maybe, maybe that's this exactly is, it's it. It's in yeah. play, you know? First place is on the table. This is basically what you need. I guess you could get this or the Alt Art Lugia V. Seems extremely unlikely, but, you know, crazy things have happened on this show. And, oh, the Anorith will score. So far, this has been a, sort of a bummer of a pack. And the Melodic, Melodic scores. Oh, no. So it's going to be uh, just a four-point pack, I think. Right? I'm doing Let's the math see right. Here. Well, because this will be worth... Um, does it get an extra bump because it's a... Uh, that's only down here because of that. Oh, I'm sorry. You're you're absolutely right. I'm yeah. sorry. I was I was looking at it as if, as if it was our hollow. Yes, I think your math is correct. A four point pack. Yeah. So we're at eight points on the season, just shy of competing for Big Steve. That's a bummer. That's a bummer for Doe. But better luck next time, and better luck in Rocket League. You know, one of these days. Every I feel like she does play in the off season. You know. Oh, I think so. I think so. And it, Rocket League is one of those games where any amount of extra play makes you a lot better Way very quickly. Better. So. All right, next up we have Stacy. Stacy, who has 12 points on the season. Yeah. All right, Stacy, let's see what we got for you here. Like we're still waiting on something something wild to happen in today's episode. Yeah, we had that awesome rainbow rare out of the very first pack. I don't know if, yeah. Let's see, yeah. salad energy. Salad. Oh, you would have thought you would have gotten the raucous pummeling again. You would have thought, although I think you doubled down at some point in time, so uh, it could be coming up next pack. Yeah. The Primordial Altar, the Dedene? Dedene. Dedene. Yep. Litten. Oh, Pebble the scores. Pebble score. The Chin Chow will not score. Pharaoh Seed, Pikachu, Venomoth, and... Oh, Lugia V! Wow, the very card that um, plagued Data Rage in the last episode. Did yeah. that Venomoth score? No, it didn't. So it's just um, the Lugia V and the Pet Lil. However, I do think the Lugia V is worth a decent bit, is yeah, it no not? Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, so the Lugia V, uh, we have seen one of these before. Data last week did get one of these, although they were going for that last place. It is worth 14 points, $13.17. So 15 total, which is going to bring their total up to 27, I believe. Which I do think is enough to now move Afropunk. Oh, you're right! Into the quality and play spot. Is, Afropunk is cheering for the Lugia V right now because they are sleeve. presently sitting now in eighth place. Omega can't believe it. I know. That's just like, <clears throat> like what were the odds? What are the odds? There you go, though. 27 points. Stacy plays spoiler to Omega. You can feel the rivalry forming. You can, here. you can. You we know. should we should include that on the notes on the card. Like, I should, you know what, I, I maybe I will. Can you just write that down? I'm gonna look at this. write. Look at this. Yeah, I'm gonna look, here we go, ready? Spoiled Omega. Omega out of eighth. Nice, nice. Damn. Now yeah. we'll see if someone else can spoil uh, Afropunk out of eight. I know, yeah. So the, the next person who would be dropping into that is uh, E.K. Sko. You, ooh, E.K. Sko, whose name I can never pronounce and who has already pulled their final pack. Yes. Um, but so what would we need? We need someone above 27. 26 points yes. now. Yes, yeah, 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 above 26 above points. Above 26 points now is what we're looking at to uh, spoil eighth place. Right now we have Dockers coming in. I don't think it's going to be Dockers. You never know. They've only got a single pack on the season so far, and they only got one point out of that pack. So this is going to be going to need to be an awesome pack for them um, if they want to play spoiler themselves. Otherwise, who knows? Maybe they land themselves in uh, the, the Big Steve race. You know? Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. Let's see. Boom. Fireball energy for Dockers. Do you ever bruise your hand doing that? No, not yet. Not yet. Yeah, Mischievous Whelmer, Murkrow, and Mulga. Meditate okay. the Golbat does not score. Oh, but the Armando oh, gets double points, I guess, because it is the uh, Rockus Pummeling is, yeah. typing there. So they are going to end the season with three points. 
Is anyone still in contention for last place, Ben? I think three is too much at it's, this point. Yeah, three is going to be too much. Um, I know that we have a few people who still only have one point, mm. although uh, the current score sheet that I have before me doesn't have many, have how many packs they've opened. Oh, well, um, Dockery was one of those people because okay. they had a single point, and that's actually the pack we just did. Okay. Sorry, it's Dockery, not Dockers. Um, okay, so, so that means that we have uh, Wooden Fleece and Anita, who are both sitting with one point. Right, and um, then there's um, Jade, Jesse, you two. Tilly, Barnes and Noble nerd, Marcos, Chris K could all are also at two, so could conceivably get a zero point pack. And Ariel Stormborn. Oh yes, yes, but she's already opened the last pack. Correct. So Correct. she's yes. sitting there no matter what. Um, next up is C Mac coming in with three points so far on the season, so out of contention for last place. All right, C Mac. Mm hmm. There's the token tomorrow. Or bam, and... With the flip, Harry Potter, Scar, Energy. Ooh, Don Pen scores. Yeah, absolutely. Max and the Low Pony, Dogger Mara. Petal scores. Petal score, Pikachu, yep. Growlithe, Clink. Ooh, the Radiant, Radiant Serena. Serena. That's going to be a one-point card. But it no. is. Oh, and the Archaeops. Nice. I think we've looked up the Archaeops a couple of times, and it is not worth worth more. The Serena is not the... Uh, <laughs> it's the Jirachi. It's the Jirachi is the Radiant. It's got a few extra points on it. There we go. Put that Serena nice there at the front. Well done to C-Mac. Finishing the season with seven points. Radiant Serena heading your way. Next up is Josh. Josh! Who has been pulling hot threes all season, Ben. Will they get another three point pack? That's what they're hoping for. Trip threes? Trip threes, which of course would land you in that, you know, covered in slot machine position. We oh. The same point total every single time. Right, right, yes. Not that that does anything for you. It's just <laughs> kind of cool. We, we say coveted as if there's anything we've made up for yet, but so far we haven't. So far we haven't. We haven't had any rookies yet today either. Let's see, bam, eyeball energy, if only, if only. People are clamoring for it. My goodness, the Venomoth, the Wallace, the Lantern. Anything we can score points with. Oh, the Radiant Jirachi, there just it is. like How that. about that, that is the one. I think that's three points, and then Miss Magus will also score. Uh, Jirachi is just two points. Oh, it's just two points, two so it's points a three so point yeah. pack, and look at that, just like that. Ding, ding, that, ding, 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 ding. That ding, ding. does mean that Josh uh, is in contention for Big Steve. Wow. That's crazy. Now, now he had the Radiant Jirachi, which will score points again, kind of against him. A there, little bit, you a know? little bit, yeah. 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 Um, we'll see how that shakes out, but uh, there we go. Another that that one I'm so excited to see how it like shakes out because so many people are now I, at that I nine know, point range. I know, I know. I think last season it was literally two people tied yeah. for it, and it came down to that. Now it's like it's, Steven seems to have hit the top of the bell curve this yes, time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So oh, this was someone who I think won big Steve. No, no won, uh, won last the last place, place last yeah. time was Blue Malamute. This Mute. time. Malamute. Mal Malamute. Malamute. I was given. I was given. Uh, Malamute. I was given criticisms for for my mispronunciation of this when announcing the awards last season. My apologies, Blue Malamute. Although currently at six points, has the potential to also land themselves in big steep contention. Oh my gosh! Can you imagine another three point pack? So Let's looking, see it. Looking for three. Triangle energy here. The Ferrothorn. The Toxicroak. Laventon. No scoring cards so far. It's kind of what they want to see. Dreepy and the Victini, so sadly not going to get the three points that they wanted. Just going to get the single point, landing them at seven on the season. Good effort, good effort. Can't get the repeat ETB, but, you know, better luck next time. All right, next up we have Chris Ray, Ben. I feel like I keep taking your turns. That's okay, Chris Ray, here we go. Let's see what <coughs> we got for you, Chris. Chris is a huge wrestling fan, so he's really hoping to get that raucous pummeling energy. It feels like we're due. Yeah, for sure. Let's see it. One, two, three, four, and... The oh, there it oh, there is! There, there it is! is. Chris yeah. Ray gets the raucous pummeling! That's so perfect. Man. So Serena, again, that's the card we're looking for in full art version. The Worker, the Clink, the Stun Fist, the Token Tomorrow, the Esper, the Smeargle, the Sandy Gast. Scores. Look at this, though. There is something peeking out back there. Oh, yeah. So the Sandy Gast uh, will actually be worth two because it is both a fighting energy and we have the, the multiplier. Yep. And finally, <gasps> the Superior V Star. Wow, wouldn't take advantage of our uh, type advantage here. That is an awesome looking card. Let's see here, number eight on the set. So on my first page, it is worth $1.44. Oh. So. so it's a two point card, a one point card. Uh, so six point pack. 
Yes. I'm doing the math right there. Math, that math, math. is going to bring them to 11 points on the season. But the good news is they get a superior V-Star. I know, that's really cool. And I think that's the first one of those that we've pulled all season. It might be. That's a very cool one. There we it's go. One of, my, one of my favorite starters, a Snivy. 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 So I always think they're going to make a, hope they make a more competitive superior. That one's only okay. But whatever. Uh, next up we have Brian, or uh, Kernak, I should say. Kernak! Kernak, who is coming in at five points. So they want about a four point pack, I'm thinking here. Kernak McClagan. Or maybe they're gonna play spoiler. Maybe they're gonna have a big pack and just uh, knock EK Sko down into eighth place. Let's see! We have our teardrop energy. The Meowstic scores, that's one of our chase cards. Curlia, the Dreepy, the Chin Chow. The... I do see something creeping out back there, Ben. I think it's gonna be, oh yeah, it's gonna be our trainer gallery something something. Okay. And Ooh. it's, oh! It's Friends and Galar, which I wanna say is actually, this is a pretty good one, right? It is pretty good, hang on one yeah, second. Yeah, that's Let's... a really best looking card. Yeah, that is worth cast. 23 points what? right there. Oh my gosh, maybe they are playing spoiler pen. How about that? What? Okay, all right. So 23 points there, plus the Dragonite, which is just gonna be one. So 23, 24, 25, that's gonna put them at, 30 points on the season! And that oh my will, gosh! That will push, uh, that will push Afropunk out of 8th oh, place, and no! EK Sko is now in 8th place! Whoa, EK Sko is cheering, and the, what is the number to beat now? Uh, let's see, so EK Sko has 26. 26 and they are in 8th so, place, so, uh, now, so above 26 is still the amount, right? No, we would need Sammy. Oh, no. So um, above 35. Above 35. Oh, so. that's hard to sell. Oh, that was like one spot, because it landed at 30 points. Oh my gosh, so wow. close, so close. Goodness me, so we're looking for, yeah, above 35 points is what Sammy needs now to knock themselves, uh, or to knock, yeah, to get knocked into it. place. Let's see, yeah, because this is 30, I'm trying to do the math in my head now, yeah, so now, now, um, Kernak will exist in between EK Sko and Sammy. Yeah. Right, which actually would put Oh, you're uh, right. Kernak in a better position for quality. Oh, you're place. right. So anyone over 30 points would knock Kernak down into eighth place. That is good. That's a good catch. So that is actually, Kernak puts themselves in a very good position. Very good. That was strategic play. Places themselves at seventh and a overall. Cool, and a cool card. I think we talked very about that cool. last week. Yeah. Man, that's exciting. So we just need an over 30 point score coming into it. That is... They have to jump over 30. Right. Yeah, yeah, it can't already be above it. Anyway, right now we have uh, Peabody Coco uh, with four points on the season. So let's okay. see how they do. All right, what let's friends see friends in Galar. What a pull, what a pull. That is a pull. <clears throat> one, of the, one of the more valuable trainer gallery cards. No doubt. All right, let's see here. So one, two, three, four. And with the flip, and boom. The fireball energy. Okay, and the stone Jenner journal scores. score, the goal bat. Regular for Sandy, Sandy Gas, Gas scores. How Lucha scores. scores. Worker. Oh, and the Frost last. So four scoring cards, and they're all just going to add up to four points total, bringing us to eight points on the season for Peabody Coco. Barely missing out on that Big Steve dollars and cents battle. Uh, tied with Big Steve. So tied with Big Steve. Congratulations on that's, that. You that's guys how are we're looking for BFFs for life. Oh boy, now we got Big Jake, photographer, and does AV work for his church. That's cool. Hey, that is fun. Big nice. Jake. I wonder if Big Jake knows Big Steve. Oh, it's prop. I mean, most big people know each other. No, so I guess so. I guess so. Makes sense. You know, the conventions. It's like a. It's like a. Uh, big like con. A, big uh, big con. Big con. Uh oh, though. What's well, not so big? Is this V Star marker for the solid negative Whoa. one for Big Jake? That's Whoa. a bummer. Coming right out. Did I do the rest of the cards right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. Okay. Okay. Slurp up, Honchka, Raichu. Oh, oh, there is something back yeah, there. The Haluta so. scores. So now we're Let's back to the, back to Jim Trainer does not and the Regilecki V. So All right. I don't think that's going to be a huge scoring card. We should check. It is featured on the box art. It is 91 cents. Okay, so, so just a, a point. one point pack with that V-Star marker on there. Gonna bring you up to eight on the season. Again, so close to the Big Steve battle that is coming up. It is amazing to me how everybody is like, everybody's like orbiting into the same spot, which is really funny because like, any given week, like we keep saying like the eyeball energy, for example, being like our type advantage. Yeah. Like, if, if that had been the case this season, things would be even wackier. Yes, they would. there's so many eyeball energy uh, type. Yes, there are. Floating through, so. All right, now we have Jade on the board, and Jade is one of our last place 
um, contenders, they want that V-Star marker because they have two points right now and a single point will knock them out of it. So here's hoping for V-Star marker, I guess. It was just in the last pack, but I think we're a little off kilter. I think we are. Oh, yeah. and there's no V-Star yeah, no marker. V -Star okay, marker. so. so but I'm last all week, energy. last week, this is where we saw Dater H pull that Lugia V and That's just true. basically like rocket from almost last place to uh, like 17th overall at that time. So, all right, the Clay Doll will score. Hypno Walm, Arkin, Metatite. No. Yeah. Uh, the Ralts, the Durant, Durant, Fletchling, Dratini. Oh, oh, full art Smeagol, or Trainer Gallery Smeagol. Now, that is really fun. And, and the Amoonga. Amoonga. Sorry, right, let's right. check the Smeargle there. That is super fun art it, right there. It is very fun. I mean, the, the, the Pokemon itself paints stuff. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, that's going to be TG10 worth $1.07, so two, points. two points. So four points total going to bring uh, Jade to six on the season. Had a nice run going there for last place, but in the end, walks away with the Smeargle. So still pretty solid, pretty solid. All right, next up, we have got Vincent. Vincent. Vincent coming with five points. So probably looking for four points out of this pack. So they too can be in the Big Steve Rumble later the on. The Big Steve Rumble. The Big Steve Rumble, as it's coming to be known in many circles. Yeah, since absolutely. Since the start of this episode. Um, Vincent with the Dark Teardrop Energy, the Braxian, the Siglef. Can we get some scoring cards in here? The Oh, well, nope, nope. The Dratini. And the Lilligan, so. Oh, one of your favorites, right? What, Lilligan? Yeah, are you a big fan? No, I'm thinking of someone else. I mean, Lilligan's Verizian? okay. Oh, Verizion. Yeah. Oh. Weak. Lilligan, uh, cool card, especially the Hisuian Lilligan. That's one of the noble Pokemon, but not gonna score very many points here for Vincent. Just one, bring them to six on the season. Better luck next time, sir. Next up, Ben, is Anita, who I feel like was another, yes, this is another last place contention, so. Yes, yeah, so zero points on one pack, one point on the other. So, so this is like a strong This contender. is a strong contender. They want a, a single point, we'll put them in a dollar and cents battle with um, Stormborn. And a V-Star marker is really what they want to see because Hello. a zero, oh, well, there's, it's too late. It's obviously not in there. So now we're looking for no points at all. We want just, one, just one point. point. <laughs> one point overall would do it. Let's so see. far, so, so good. Far, so, so far, good. so good. We're looking for it. Uh, okay. Yep. The Zubat. The Zubat. And oh, the Drowsy. That's good. This is going to do it, man. This is going to do it. The, the Delbox. Box. Oh my gosh. They got the single point. That means they are now tied with Aerial Stormborn. So we're looking, we'll have to go back and, let's see what the Delphox is worth. Oh yeah, okay, This will be one of their scoring cards. What number is the Delphox? That is 27. 27 is gonna be the Delphox. It's worth 10 cents. Okay, 10 so, cents. That feels pretty good. They only have one other card they need to go look at and they want the lowest value. Right, right. Possible there, so. That, I mean, that that's contention. We're just gonna have to go back and look. It's, we have no it's idea. A, it's a shocking amount of Bad luck also being kind of lucky at the same time. It is, yeah, there's yeah. no, especially like with the big Steve one where it's like, no, you scored points, yeah, but like, but you want the lowest one. The lowest. Whereas I suppose if you had, if we have a tie for quality eighth place, interestingly, you'd want the highest value. Yes, that right? is true, yeah, 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 because that would decide who is, that's true. And <clears throat> also true for first place. Yeah, yeah, if there was a tie for first place. So quality eighth place and first place, obviously, if there was a tie, you want the highest value combination of your rare cards. But for um, winning Big Steve and last place, you want the lowest value. Right. A lot of weird things to consider when you're making up a game on the fly, you guys. Exactly. All right, next up we have Tyler Gillies, who's coming in with seven points. He has a tie, an identical twin brother. That's pretty cool. I have identical twin sons, so. And currently seven points, so yeah. a two-point pack would put you again inside of the, the Big Steve Rumble. Yeah, that's what we're looking for here for Tyler. Can they get into the Big Steve uh, Rumble? Uh, salad energy is probably pretty good for them. The more Pekko, the capturing aroma. Is there a single scoring card? The Krogon? Oh, oh something oh. else peeking out back something there. Something very what could shiny. It be? It's going to be the Alolan Vulpix V Star. What? That's an awesome card to pull. That is an awesome card. Oh, worth three points. Okay. Um, so does that put them at 10 overall? That puts them at 10 overall. So it does push you just past the big <clears> Steve, but that's a really fun and cool card. It is. To it have is, headed your way. Very cool. That, that's, that's the good news is that at least 
in losing, you have won a good card. There you go. And in case anybody is watching and they keep wondering like why we talk about how other people are getting these cards, the way that it works is that you are basically uh, going over to patreon.com, signing up at the box breakers tier, and then each of the packs that we open and these points that are being scored, those people have actually pre-purchased the pack in advance and we will mail it to them. So if you would like to become a patron uh, of Super Carlin Gaming, you can head on over to patreon.com slash Super Carlin Gaming and select the box breakers tier. Yeah, not only to get the free packs, but to get to be part of the game. <laughs> Woo! All right, Ben, Next up, we've got Maddie. Maddie. Oh, Maddie's up for Rookie of the Day! Hey, we haven't had a rookie so far yet. Oh my gosh. Oh, man, I rookie love it when there's the a day. new thing to talk about. I know. Are, there, so are we going to be into the into all the rookies? There's, maybe there's only two. All right. Um, so, uh, cool thing about Maddie, they got to do the Disney College program in 2016. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. Oh, oh dear. no. Star. Wow. Maddie's the not coming out like Jess did yesterday. I know. I know. All right. Let's take a look at Jess Rookie of the Year. Currently, we're looking for someone to beat 231 <clears throat> points in mm. order to uh, take over Jess's position there. Uh, we have the Duosian. The Waylord, the Nine Tails, the Growlithe, the Mischievous, the Whalemur, the Murkrow, the Mulga. The Furisode Girl? Furisode Girl? Oh no, Ben. If this is just a regular rare, we're looking at a zero point pack. <gasps> oh God, no! Amor, oh. Manny comes into the game and immediately puts up the goose egg. Oh man, I'm I mean, so sorry. Yeah, I hate I'm to so see so it, sorry. but I think also. Jess took all of the luck last week. Yep. So uh, it does, you want to think, put uh, Shaman Nomo into a good position. This is another Rookie of the Day contender. Um, all they need is anything. Just any any points, any points at all will uh, will do it for them so far, and they'll be looking, they'll be staring down the the barrel of a breadstick in no time. <laughs> oh, it makes me hungry every time we talk about it. Well, like we're getting it, start, it started as a joke, and now I'm almost I'm almost there. I know. I feel like we're we're sort of joking about the Olive Garden, and then also like advertising it. Not sponsored, by the way. Definitely not sponsored. Although yeah. it would be if you wanted. You know. Hey. If you want this show to be brought to you by Olive Garden, Olive Garden, we're accepting phone calls. Next up, Fireball Energy for Shaman Nomo. Let's see, can they get even a single point? Of course they will, because they didn't get the uh, V-Star. The Radiant Jirachi, that's two points, and the Crocodile, so it's a three-point pack, and good enough for our Rookie of the Day at the moment. Unless there's more rookies, which they've been being clustered together, uh, and that was the end of the cluster, so Th they've it doesn't been mean being. there's more. But next up we have Mbug. Mbug, he's yep. got three three, so we're looking for another three and get yourself inside of that big Steve Rumble. Let's see. Speed pack. Set aside. Bam, 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 One, bam, bam. Two, three, four. Sometimes I think when I'm speeding, I just actually like shake a lot more. We have a teardrop energy, an Altaria, a Fletch Render, a Dracloak, a Volpix, and a Molga. Chemeco yeah, scores. Buneri. Buneri? Buneri. Buneri. Drowsy. Like ears. Okay, okay. The Braxton and the Metagross. Metagross. So it's going to be a two-point pack there for Mbug. Going to bring them to eight on the season. Man, they are just a point shy of being in the Big Steve Rumble. Tied but you know what? with Big Steve. You need that nine points to gain entry, you know? It's coveted. Coveted. It's coveted. Even just taking place in the battle is, you know, worth putting it. Oh, Ben! Calvin Goff is another rookie! Next contestant. They're yes. looking for more than three points to get the uh, unlimited breadsticks you can get down at the Olive Garden. Not a guaranteed thing at all. We've seen this battle be waged over as few as three points before. Right, right. We've seen it waged as high as 231 points, though, so you never know what to expect from the rookies. That's you really the great don't. thing you about really them. Don't. Yes, they're completely yeah. unpredictable. Completely unpredictable. Let's see. Bam! Harry Potter Scar Energy. Candice, Crocorock, Behem, Fletchling, Pharisee, Smeargle. Oh, something! Oh, the Braxian! Oh, hey. That's cool. So this is Serena on a full art card, but it is not the full art Serena, sadly. And then the Zygarde. So let's check that out real quick. Let's that is going to be that is Trinder Gallery. Oh, one. Oh, wow. How that's easy. Right at the top. Dollar fifty-two for the Bra Braxian. Yep. Uh, is going to be yeah. So two points, three points on the t the pack overall. Three points on the pack, Ben. That means we got a tie for the Garden Guard. <laughs> I, I that is I think that's a cool card. That I is like a that. cool card. Yeah. I wish it was like yeah maybe a little better. Um, but as far as it's the oh like competitively yeah yeah. It's, it's, I, it's I was like one. I was like it's cool. I wish it was better. I wish like, the art was just you know what I like it. I just think it could. I think they phoned it in. I, mean, I just I wish it was better. I don't. I wish it was competitive. Uh, but it's not. Uh, Emerald Phoenix Ben been putting up threes all season. 
Um, which, you know, if you're Steph Curry, that's amazing. But in this game, it only lands you at six points so far. Hey, good reference. Thanks, man. Good reference. I do know that Emerald Phoenix last season had 21 points overall. That's true. So they had um, a couple of good packs. Yeah, so I, I'd like to see if they can just, like, you know, come and, and really hit that, uh, like, 15-point pack, you yeah. know? Match as last I, season's total. As I understand it from their fun fact, Pokemon cards are basically, like, the underground currency at the school he teaches at, so maybe this will get him some street cred. There you go. There you go. Okay, we're Luchasaurus, capitalizing yeah. on the rock. It's pummeling a little bit. We've got the Drowsy, the Fungus, and... Oh, the Skuntang! Hey, how wow. about that? nice. Let's double-check the um, potential value of that. I'm get It looks like... A bulk V, but you never know. 57 cents 57 on that cents, yep, and yep. just like that, that's nine points for Emerald Phoenix means he gets a ticket to the Big Steve Rumble. Good luck. Good luck, man. I mean, the Skun Tank feels like it hurts you because it's maybe a little bit more viable, but you never know. You don't know. See, what's actually good, though, is that you scored these two points to help you get in, but these won't matter at all. They Whoa! Won't, they won't go in at all to you your final like, value. Like a weird Risty Mc. Flip twist. A Risty McFlip twist. And they That's both what they call it. exactly so perfectly. Well, you know, but when you play cards as much as I do, you can make you get a knack for these sort of things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, Emerald. Congratulations, Emerald, and good luck in the Rumble. That's how you want to get into the Rumbles. So lots of chase cards. Yeah. And like points there, because those are just zeros for you. That's good. Uh, next up is Ben C, who I want to say, now Ben, this is one of the people who can, this, if ever there was a time to pull the raucous pummeling Serena Rayquaza pack. <laughs> this is it. Or the Alt Art Lugia V. This is someone who could do it. Who could take first place. They presently have 81 points. What did they pull to get 78 points? No. This is someone who had the uh, who had a Lugia V star with the multiplier with earlier, the multiplier, and we yeah. thought they were unstoppable. I know it was like there's there's no. I mean, it would previously I think have been the highest score we've ever had in box breakers, and then two yeah. people cleared 230. Well, was... Ben C, let's see if lightning can literally strike twice. There we go. Well, right. not lightning. We want a raucous pummeling. That's what you basically need. I've shuffled all the you, packs. I saw you. I saw yeah. you shuffling the yeah. packs for true randomness. True randomness. Goodness, goodness me. Could it be? I'm gonna be so excited if it's raucous pummeling. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, oh it's eyeball. Of course it, it is. would be. It would be the beloved. Now, the beloved. now watch it actually be the Sarita card too. I know. I know. That, oh gosh, would, be that would be unbelievable. Wild. Nothing else so, so Nothing far. Nothing right? so far. The There's the Halucha which scores, and, and the, the Cabalion. Oh, okay. So well, just we just all held our breaths. Two points there after. A crazy season, gonna bring them up to 83. Extremely well done, extremely well done. This of course does not affect quality eighth place because Ben C was already ahead. Yes. So that doesn't change their positioning at all. So we're still looking for someone to come in at uh, 30, or above 30 points who was yes. previously not already yet yes. at 30. All right, next up we have Anthony. This is a Doe from earlier in the season's um, older son. Hey, hey. Interested in game programming. So, you know, pay attention. This is how you make up rules. Make sure at somewhere in whatever game you're programming, you're like, okay, so if you do this, Olive Garden will mail you a gift card. <laughs> it's essential to have the Olive Garden <laughs> Yeah, clause. that's a big part of all game design. Oh, Fireball Energy for Anthony. Let's see if he can pull out anything big here to, um, you know, brag about in front of his mom. That'd be great. Crow Gunk, the Snow Runt, and the Earth and Steel Stone. This I, is the, this, I, no. Is it the one, I know, we, we've done no. this before. This is not, it's the Forest Steel Stone. That's it is the, the Forest one. Steel Stone. So we we made this exact out. mistake last week, which uh, as a card that looks just like this one is worth three points overall. Typically, this one is just worth a single point. So there we go. It's five points on the season for Anthony, but you get the Earth and Steel Stone. Throw it in your deck. Why Would you not? use it? No. Oh, okay. Well, it's it's like very, very niche. You can use it, yeah, but Jay you could. Wouldn't. I mean, it just depends what you're playing. Um, next up, oh, Ben, crowd favorite. It's Strange Hamburger! The strangest! Man, she's coming in at eight points, so another person looking to punch their ticket down to the Big Steve Rumble. All right, let's take a look. How many points you say? Eight. 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 So, so we want a single, single point. point out of here. All right, so one, two. Three. Strange Hamburger's been watching SCB since she was uh, 12 years old. That is, is the amazing. person we're like, oh, unless they're 13. Unless they're 13. <laughs> yeah. It's impressive. Oh, it's impressive either way. It's Thank you so much for way. your continued support. All right, Solosis the Zubat. 
The Fungus, the Sandy Gas will score. score. The Lance will not score. Oh! oh a gold Gape Jaw Ball! Gape oh, Jaw Ball! Look at that beautiful uh, Stunky on there as well. That's a fantastic looking card, if nothing else. So, not going to punch your ticket to the Big Steve uh, Rumble later on today. But... Uh, you do get a gold stadium card. It is a great card, too. Coming yeah. in at $6.40. So it rounds seven, up to seven. Eight. Eight points. Right, they're the going to double their score to 16. So they're close to playing spoiler, but uh, not quite going to make it there. But they do get the awesome get. Let's put a sleeve on the game. Yeah, let's, do it. Hang on. let's, let's do, do it. Yeah. It is all gold and shiny. After it is all gold and shiny. Woo. I feel like if I played, I would want every single one of my trainers to be. Oh, yes. Goldified. That is exactly how I am. If, I'm, if I'm and whenever on the it. possibility is, is before me. Ben, I can't wait for the day when that day comes. I would be so excited. Um, does that do this right? Yes. Yeah. Cool. All right, next up we have Robbie Cruz. Robbie! Robbie Cruz has been putting up twos all season, which is great if you're Shaq, but in this game, not so good. That was another basketball joke. Oh, yeah, no, I got yeah, that. Okay, I got that. Cool. This Jack put gotcha. up twos. Well, because he was he played center, so he mostly just dunked and put layups, you know. Gotcha, not, gotcha, not gotcha. exactly known for his threes, you right, know. Right, right. <laughs> Probably under ten in his career, if I had to guess. Boom! Oh, oh! Rock is bubbling! Another thing Shaq was known for, though. I wonder if they know them. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Pro pro Robbie Cruz probably knows Shaquille O'Neal. They hang out on weekends. Play Pokemon. Uh, so far, no scoring cards at all. The Clang and the Terrakion will at least be worth four points? I believe total, so. Total, right? Because yes. it is the rare, plus the point from the fighting times two is four. Right? Boom. There you go. We put it in our formula. Four point, or four mula. Hey! Oh, Ben, that lands Robbie at eight points, meaning getting them just a single point shy of punching their ticket to the rumble later. You hate to see it. The bell curve is so interesting. Now, it is very it? interesting. It's like people are absolutely falling left and right, right yeah, in that middle. Right where they are. Now, oh, now Moss Twig has got nine points right now. That's our next contestant. So they're looking for a V star marker and then a zero point pack, I think. Unless, unless they want to jump all the way up to where EK Sko is yeah. uh, currently in that quality eighth place position with 26 points. Yes, yes. So if they land between 26 and 30, they put themselves in eighth place, I It'd believe. Be pretty right? impressive. Yeah. Oh, okay. We do have the raucous bubbling oh, energy. Oh, anything is possible. Okay, so Tor, Captain yeah, Dragon, and the Venom, the ball, the ball toy. toy. That's nice. Uh oh. The okay, okay. Big things, things are happening. happening. Wallace and, and no, Verizion. not Verizion. Wow, unfortunate. That's going to be a six point pack. Mm, I thought we had so many nice little things happening there for you. Instead, you're going home with 14 points on the season. Well done, Moss Twig. Well done, well, well done. done. You made it exciting, and that's that's worth something, too. Next up is Aiden coming in with five points. So, hopefully, looking for maybe a three point pack here. Could be, could be. Punch their way to. I uh, love chess and cricket, and probably Pokemon, if I had to guess. But could maybe be. Not. I don't know why you'd be on the show if you didn't like Pokemon cards, but maybe it's just fun to play. Maybe That's it's okay too. To play. You like to you like to see the narrative we build for you. Exactly. Can we get some points here for Aiden Vulpix, Snow Runt, Duosion, and a Talonflame? Oh. Sadly, just a single point. Gonna get just shy of the Big Steve Rumble at six points to finish. There we go. Threw it over here. You got your Talon Flame coming over there. That's one of Ben's favorite cards ever. Next up, we have Emily Stock. Emily Stock. So we actually we had more than thirty six people, and so we have two extra packs here that are being folded into the equation. So from gonna... the from the random remainders earlier in the season. Yes. Okay. So here we go. We're doing so there ourselves we go. a nice little shuffle rooski. This is the one that feels right. All right. Let's see. Emily's been putting up sixes all season, which if you're Steph Curry is unbelievable because that's not something you can score on a basketball court. <laughs> if you can shoot sixes, wow. Not even the Globetrotters are doing that. Wow. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. I wish that they would put a six-point line on the they, court. Yeah. There was a season for the Globetrotters where their gimmick was they had a four-point shot. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, it was. It was like from nearly half court, and they would just do it. They would just do it. It was amazing. That's impressive. So anyway. we have the Talent Energy Wallace, Brandon, yeah, Brandon. Jinx, Mischievous, Swablu, Swirlix, Rotom, Dreepy. You can see why we really wanted that. The eyeball energy. Yeah, You've been putting up four points here. The Sand, sand dial, dial and, and the, the Fion. Fion. Wow. 
Sort of a uh, mid finish there for Emily Stock, unfortunately, finishing with 13 points. So pretty good, obviously ahead of the bell curve, but not enough in the bell curve to land in the rumble. But uh, best of luck to you next season, Emily. Gonna be crushing it. Next up, we have Collard Cow 41. Collard! Collard Cow, they have got 10 points on the season already, so they're maybe looking to play some spoiler here, Ben. Absolutely, absolutely. This would be a this would be a great situation to see something really just wacky and fun happen. Uh, like really just kind of blow up the board a little bit. Let's so. see what we got. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 wait, no. Oh, no, okay, this doesn't help, because I was going to say, oh, yeah, they can get go, negative you points. You can't get negative points yeah. yet. Well, yeah. Ooh. What can we do for that? We'll think on it. <laughs> we'll think on it. Don't worry. Bam! Obviously, there's not going to be a reveal there because we already know you can't get it. The Serena, the Dreepy, the Vulpix, the Emolga, the Chimeco does score, so you're not going to get total. Oh, and the Terrakion will score as well. So you get a one point pack there, I believe. They're going to finish you uh, at 11 points on the season. Collared Cow, you can use those 11 points and go have some pizza, of which you are so fond of making, according to your card here. According to your card, That's okay. I and I think we're on the last pack of the season. Last pack of the season! Right? It is Alyssa. Ethan, oh. the editor, has just come in to watch, to see the drama unfold. Yeah, is there something? Is there updates? Or do you uh, just want to yeah, see no, it? just the guys in the back said it was great. The guys uh -oh. In the back. Oh, oh, Ethan doesn't work with the guys in the back the for Alyssa! The, okay, who has 10 points. Who has 10 points. Maybe Alyssa's going to play spoiler. Again, we are looking for, what? Over 30 points? Is that what you mean? I think, I think uh, yeah, over 30 okay. would, would do it. In, um, in which case, Alyssa needs 20 or more points if she's going to play spoiler. Okay, okay. Let's yeah. see. Let's see it. Let's see if something wacky can happen. Let's Kablam! see. Kablam! With the flip, eyeball energy would have paid dividends. Uh, it would have. If only, if only. All right, we got the Raichu, the Torcat, the Palace oh, Animal Scores. Mischievous, the Rotom, the Swirlix, the Swablu, the Venomoth won't score, and, and the Amoongus. Oh, wow, so wow, only a single wow, wow, point wow. there. 11 on the season for Alyssa. But a really just <clears throat> kind of average looking Amoongus yeah, anyway. I mean, look, yeah, this guy, I mean, he doesn't, I mean, who passed this through the art department? He's just like, I'm in a field. I'm, I'm just gonna, a mushroom. I'm, I'm just here. I'm just here. My goodness, my gracious, you guys. I am so excited that after a fun season of ups and downs, we finally are able to crown this season's champions. Yes, we are. We've known for a long time, or at least suspected for a long time, who our top place winner would be. And indeed, Brooke is the crowned champion of the Silver Tempest season with that amazing Alt Art Lugia V pull. Hanging on by fingertips. Fingertips by Fingertips. It was an unprecedented uh, best card in the entire set pull, and it happened twice, twice with the second time coming from uh, Rookie of the Year contender, Jess. Jess, not just contender, just outright champion for sure. Not that there's any particular prize for that, so sorry. Right, yeah, but at I'm, some point you got an Olive Garden just, uh, gift card. Yeah, congratulations, congratulations. Elder, by the way. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Uh, moving on from that, we can start with our last place award, uh, which I believe was just held by a single person this season. Congratulations to Anita! Anita! Well done, Anita, having the fewest points all season. I honestly, the thing that Anita did that <laughs> blows my mind the most is that they averaged less than one point per pack. Three packs, grand total, two, two points. points. That's crazy. And did it with the full three packs. It really felt like maybe it would go to a two pack person because they only have to take two shots at it. But no, Anita proved her last place worthiness with all three packs. From there, we can move on to our highly contentious Big Steve Award, which was a seven way tie. Yeah, yeah. Ethan, the editor, had to go back and find in every episode the rare card and tally everything up. And it's a really weird one because to be direct Directly in front of Steven, you needed that nine point total. But then to be directly, directly, you needed the lowest cent dollars and cents value right. of those nine points. So it's another weird situation where that would put you directly in front of him. And the winner was Lauren. Lauren, congratulations. 
I do feel like uh, this was this was very highly contentious. Yeah. I love the fact that Big Steve basically was sitting right in the middle of like the point scoring bell curve. Yeah, right there on the bell curve. Yeah, because it's like you never have any idea. I mean, Big Steve could just as easily be like a top 10 contender. He could be in a last place contender. But like in this particular instance, literally just like right dead center in the middle of the pack. Uh, I also would love to give an honorable mention to Anna, uh, who was in that uh, seven way brawl for yeah. the Big Steve Award because Anna last season was also in a last place uh, brawl with Blue Malamute and lost by one penny. Yeah, this time it was more like a more like a full dollar. It was so. yeah, it was it was less close, but two seasons in a row where unfortunately Anna missed out on winning that elite trainer box uh, by by the narrowest of margins. And that brings us to our final award of the season, which is gonna be that quality eighth place, sort of the opposite of the big Steve award and how you do the place. We had another tie for the eighth place spot, right? No, we did no, not. We no, did we, not we, have we a tie. We only for had it. one person in the eighth eighth place position with 26 points over. I'll, I'll say it because it seems like you struggle. I sure do. E.K. Sco. E.K. Scow. Sco. Sco. Like though. Sco. Even after you say it, I'm trying to say it, but I'm still <laughs> like, Sco. It's like all your internal mechanics are working it's against like, you. It's like, it sounds like, to... like though, and I'm like, like thou. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I can do that. Yep, That's yep. easier than saying your name, dude. But congratulations on your quality eighth place finish. I know. Really just a, a, an incredibly exciting season all the way around. As a reminder, the last place award, the Big Steve Award, the quality eighth place award will all be receiving a Silver Tempest Elite Trainer Box where our champion, Brooke, will be receiving 36 packs in the form of a booster box from the Silver Tempest set as well. If you would like <sighs> to see us open packs here for you on the box, Break your show, all you have to do is head on over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and select the box breakers tier. As a reminder, for the future, next season is going to be the Crown Zenith single month season. So everyone playing will just get a single pack. It's like a it's like a mini set, and so it's like a mini season. But after that, we move into the brand new Scarlet and Violet base set, our next uh big three-pack season. So uh make sure you head on over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming to sign up for that box. Boxbreaker tier, where hopefully next season we can also start having our team competition. I w and not even hopefully we will. Oh, we will. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Link in the description down below, guys. Thank you so much. Until next time. Bye. bye!